Lucy's all. Hi and welcome. My name is Bruce Schwartz. I live in Montreal, Quebec. I research the moon, UFOs. I study in ufology. I've been doing this for my sixth year now, five completed years. And thanks to you all, we've reached 90,000 subscribers, 91,000 subscribers, just hanging by a hair nail there. And this is today's sun. We're going to talk about the solar flares and their classes that occurred during the month of December and recently this week. We're going to take a look at today's sun, which is right in front of you. The sun, more and more, uh, the scientists are talking about the solar maximum. And apparently, the solar maximum that was coming and predicted is ahead of its time. So let's go take a look at that and the information I've been looking at myself and that I wanted to share with you. Solar scientists, that's what we're going to talk about. They've suspected for a few months that the sun's new cycle may be one of its strongest periods since record keeping began. New data now suggests that it's running ahead of schedule. So that's not necessarily a good sign. And that it could also be um, meaning that it will hit solar maximum much earlier than previously predicted. We're seeing a lot more sunspots on our star and more than was expected. In fact, uh, just last week, a couple weeks ago, the sun just produced an M-class solar flare the strongest so far in solar cycle 25. And you see they're not bragging about that. Um, it caused a short wave radio blackout over the Pacific Ocean. The sun has a cycle lasting roughly 11 years during which its activity is tracked by counting how many sunspots are counted by solar scientists. That's been done since 17, 1755 and um, it is classed as the solar cycle one 755 so a sunspot erupted an m1 class solar flare towards earth um, just days after the sun blasted earth with an m class solar flare which created an unexpected g1 class geomagnetic storm so they don't know everything that's going to happen so that's even scarier the sun erupted another m class solar flare towards the earth um and the flare blasted the earth with x-rays and uv radiation again triggering a short wave radio blackout over portions of the globe uh, in a statement released by noaa's space weather prediction center today uh, said um, this flare was associated with coronal mass ejection signatures noted in radio observatory data the largest solar flares are known as X-class flares, based on a classification system that divides solar flares according to their strength. The smallest ones are A-class, followed by B, C, M, and then X, similar to the Richter scale for earthquakes. Each letter represents a tenfold increase in energy output. Within each letter class, there is a finer scale from 1 to 9. A massive X-class flare, which is 10 times an M-class flare and 100 times a C-class flare, erupted right before Halloween, actually, setting off a significant geomagnetic storm on Earth. So there's a lot more coming. Take one of the most memorable sightings caught on infrared camera in 2004. Navy pilots flying from the USS Nimitz spotted a 40-foot white object resembling a Tic Tac, mint, okay, levitating erratically above the waters off the California coast. As the pilots approached, the Tic Tac, despite lacking wings or any sign of propulsion, rose to meet them mid-air before speeding instantly away and vanishing. The report did not conclude what the Tic Tac or any other UAPs are, and it could not attribute them to secret technology developed by the U.S. or any adversaries. And again, that's just the information they're putting out there. We'll probably never know. Now, Congress wants answers, and they want them fast. In November, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand 
um, authored legislation creating an office to study UAP's government um, wide and report to Congress. The Defense Department tried to stake its claim to the issue shortly after announcing the formation of its own UAP unit. Its team would investigate only UAPs spotted in sensitive military airspace. And we're not going to hear about those, now will we? It would operate without congressional supervision. Now you see, it's extremely scary to me seeing these lights on the moon when NASA just supposedly landed there and said that they found a cube. Are they about to blackmail the states? I don't know, but I'm sort of hoping they will. I want this information to come out like like fireworks wouldn't that be amazing maybe it's just wishful thinking but still these objects are on the moon um if i know about them can you imagine who does who else does like hundreds if not a thousand people that are working on this privately secretly through projects dark or not know about this this is straight up on the moon these lights are roaming around hundreds of moments where i caught them roaming around the sky is near impossible to film these days. The, the moon is hard to get. The, the sun is hard to get. The more footage we get, the better, because maybe one day that blackout, uh, volcanoes, whatever, climate change will cause us to be totally in the dark. Now think of it. When I started showing this research, I was able to show something that they definitely did not want me to show, and it's this. It's the interaction of these lights with each other and the fact that they're leaving the surface of the moon there's not many people that ever showed that that's not hide it i've never seen it in any um website i've never seen it anywhere on the internet you can tell me yes and you can try to share links with me i'm not gonna it, it's not gonna work okay we've been years and years and years all my life myself i've seen there was nothing being shown it has to be um a luck situation and this is my case that i was able to get it add some uh, knowledge and photographic techniques and stuff yes I'm, I'm a good photographer i like to believe i am because i enjoy photography often when people enjoy um a certain um field even if it's their job they can become very good at it but i'm telling you this is the big secret that they're hiding these um lights that are on the moon like i rarely show alien craft you can see a square there right so when we see a shape i'm really happy to see a shape but in general movies show a lot of craft in it but these lights i believe are something very very hush hush and secret i believe the paranormal investigating researching field also has a lot to do with um, these findings because they're capturing lights on earth what are the difference with the lights on earth and these lights maybe the size you know, I don't know, but it, it remains interesting that all this proof is there, right? So do you think this is Gillibrand's UAP uh, team that is now up on the moon, both taking off from the surface and there's several groups of people like this now already have concluded that the moon is safe? No, I don't believe it's humans right now that are these lights on the moon. And if they are, well... It's wishful thinking because the technology that the military has is highly advanced here on Earth, both in the States and other countries, Russia, etc. But are we this advanced? I don't think so. And if they're not talking about it, it's because, one, it could be um, a secret because it's them up there. I get it. But uh, it could also mean that there's an extraterrestrial race living on the moon. I've showed proof of something in the atmosphere that is causing lots of smokes we're, we're seeing lots of smokes whether they be hazes or dusts and this object these objects flying around higher up in the atmosphere i believe are possibly hiding the surface the smaller objects lower down you could see it there are different layers more and more some of you are mentioning this to me that the moon has uh, various layers of the this atmosphere and yeah <laughs> i confirm that 100 percent because we can see it visually right but there's creatures too there this biological gas leaving um, these creatures what can it be i tried to show this um, and i will continue to show this adding to the research of course i do new every chance i get and when the sky doesn't permit me to well that's life but this object that came down to the house, I want everyone 
to know about it. I want everyone to see it. I want it to be shared around the world. I want opinions from other researchers, but we're probably not going to get any. All these satellites could be ballistic missile warheads. I don't know. Maybe that's what's attracting the UFOs that come towards Earth. Possibly. Why not? So this was a sun video, and of course I added some more information about the UFOs and as much as I can every time I hear something new. But again, they've been seeing tic-tac shapes and a whole bunch of shapes all around the world. I think it's only a, a short matter of time till they speak out a lot more Thanks about for it. watching, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to subscribe to this channel. Cause the slow's just coming soon Cause the slow's just coming soon